Necessary repairs have been made to the oh race boy. car. We've got an issue. Max Chilton gonna bring out a red flag. Turn number five, Nick Yolen. Yeah, we were just talking about uh, his Ganassi teammate Charlie Kimball and problems for Max Chilton. That is uh, through the inner loop there, the bus stop portion of the racetrack. It's a rhythm section where you go uh, to the right, back to the left, then back to the right. And Mark, that car just looked evil. Uh, coming out of that corner as he spins it, looks like 180 degrees, and uh, yeah, slaps the right side of that car, the Armco for Max Chilton. It doesn't look like uh, a tremendous amount of damage. Hopefully, it'll be just uh, bolt-on stuff. That uh, set of Firestones is crashed, though. Most assuredly, that's a set of blacks, and uh, Max Chilton stepped out of the race car under his own power. And give it a look see. Although now yeah. we get a chance to see the replay, Nick. Uh, pretty heavy suspension damage on the right side. I thought maybe he initially just kind of backed it in with the rear wing, but now he hit pretty hard and it uh, it popped that suspension, that a arm, and uh, uh, the suspension pieces in the right front uh, that took a pretty good lick. Yeah, I saw that right front tire kind of fold over on itself, which, uh, as you mentioned, that's a clear sign that there was a bent suspension and Max. Uh, now looking over the right rear suspension, that's, you know, where the engine and that, that rear end housing is located. Really want to look that over. Second thought there, market speed, it looked like uh, over that third set of curbings, again, through the bus stop, it's a quick uh, shot to the right, and then back to the left, a very, very short and quick straightaway, and then it's back to the left and then to the right. On that third set of curbing, uh, when he went up and over top of that curbing, it looked like it upset that car, uh, might have gotten off the ground just a bit, you know, with the tires released from the racetrack just enough. That's enough to upset that car. And, uh, again, wild ride, but uh, Max Chilton is okay, and, and hopefully uh, the repairs of that car. The good news for that team is there. this is the final bit of track activity for the day. Certainly they're going to lose about uh, 20 minutes of practice time, but the good news is it's not like they've got a thrash now, Mark, to get that car ready for qualifying. Not uh, been comfortable in it. Uh, 15th quick on the speed chart. and. Um...